Hello. This past week you covered intelligence. Um, intelligence is a fascinating topic and one where we still have lots of research to do. If you're interested in this area, um, there is a podcast called Radio Lab that has um, several different podcasts related to intelligence and factors related to that topic. Um, we know that intelligence, if it's tested in infancy and early childhood, does not stay consistent. Um, but by the time you're about a teen, your um, IQ stays relatively stable um, for the rest of your life. Um, IQ may change later in life, um, and there are things that can impact that. For example, if someone has a psychotic break, um, we often will see differences in IQ scores if IQ has been tested before, during, and after. Um, additionally, anything that would impact the structure of the brain has the ability to change IQ. Is it an accurate predictor? No. It's a number that is derived um, from a culturally insensitive test. Um, does it cover all aspects of our lives? Absolutely not. Um, we can look at things like being street smart, musically inclined, um, many other factors. Additionally, IQ is based off of a verbal test. So for somebody who is nonverbal, um, IQ tests are not um, a great predictor. However, they are working on developing more nonverbal tests. Is IQ helpful? Absolutely. Um, if someone has an intellectual or developmental disability, it helps us figure out what their baseline is so that we can make accommodations. It's also, also helpful for if somebody is applying for disability. Um, again, look up um, other resources if you have interest in this topic. Um, and have a great week.